exercise 4.02. Good evening, everyone. Thanks very much to Monica for that introduction. As she said, my name's Carl Rag, and as you can probably tell from the uniform, I'm a policeman. I was invited to give this talk after a conversation with the student union I had at a meeting of the Crime Victims Association, for which I work on a part-time basis as an advisor. I feel it's vital for the police force to show an active interest in the feelings and experiences of victims of crime. It helps us to help people who are in the unfortunate situation of having a crime committed against them, and it keeps us focused on the importance of preventing crime from occurring in the first place. And that's why I'm glad the Students' Union has asked me to come to the campus tonight. By putting on events like this, they show they take these issues seriously. If you only read the newspapers and watch the TV, you'd think that the most common crime committed against students is rape. Thankfully, this is not true, and it's rare on this campus, although, of course, just one case is too many. The most common crimes committed are physical attacks, generally in pubs and clubs, but by far the most often reported crimes involve burglary of student accommodation or stolen mobile phones and laptops on campus. This is extremely unpleasant, but at least it very rarely involves any personal injury to the victim. I mentioned the media's coverage of crime. You've probably read that for certain offences, crime rates have risen dramatically over the past few years in society as a whole, and nobody would expect journalists to be focusing on any improvements. Good news doesn't tend to make the headlines. Any university is part of society, and there's no doubt that crime is a fact of life. Still, crime has actually fallen on campus over the last five years, and I think that's largely thanks to the university authorities and the Students' Union increasing crime education activities, such as this, and by putting in better lighting and changing the design of some of the more isolated parts of the campus. Surveys show, however, that students worry more than ever about crime. This is completely understandable, given the media hype that there is about crime. As I mentioned before, although crime rates are down, as soon as a serious crime occurs, it is all over the front pages and the lead story on the news. There's no way they would report good news about an increase in the number of police officers patrolling campus, or that 99.9% .9 of students never fall victim to a serious violent crime. That's not news that sells. I'm most certainly not saying that nobody should worry and that you should walk around at all hours of the night in dark passageways with nothing to fear. What we do advise people is that a good dose of common sense is the best deterrent. That means you take responsibility for your own safety, which is a message I'm glad to see the student union putting across. It's true that you can take self-defense courses, but that doesn't mean you'll be able to fend off any attacker or throw someone over your shoulder if they're a bit drunk and irritating you in a bar. The main weapon a good self-defense course equips you with is not physical techniques or how to use a knife, or telling you to walk confidently, although I think that helps you make sure that you are thinking about your safety. A good self-defense course should actually be the beginning of an instinctive awareness of possible threats to your safety. So as students on campus, what practical measures can you take to maximize your personal security? Well, you could just sit at home with 10 other friends, with all the doors and windows closed, ready to call the police whenever you hear an unfamiliar sound. But life wouldn't be that much fun for you. Let's take a specific everyday situation. You've got some coursework to finish, and you stay late at the library, which means you have to go home in the dark, unless you want to sleep in the toilets or between the bookshelves, which is not really an option. I'm assuming you will have a mobile phone with you, which is an excellent security measure, because of course you can call someone at any time. We think the best way to stay safe in this situation, though, is to ask one of your flatmates to stay in the library with you until you finish work, and then to make the journey home together. It's more sociable, and there's safety in numbers. If you are unlucky enough to be faced with a crime, such as being mugged, it's a nasty situation. You have to make a quick decision, and your first instinct may be to resist forcefully. But we advise against this. You don't know what the criminal is like. You could run away but often people won't help you if you're running away from somebody. It's a confusing situation, and nobody really knows what to do. If possible, therefore, we recommend asking for help from passers-by. This may involve screaming for help, grabbing someone, and asking them to call the police. But whatever you do, try to seek help if it seems possible. These are just general guidelines based on our experience. It's hard to give specific advice for every situation that might crop up. However, 
We do tell people not to carry a knife. You might think you can scare off an attacker, but in an attack, it's the thing that makes it most likely that you end up injured, and it's illegal to carry one, of course. I always feel a little uneasy about giving these talks, because there's a fine line between trying to make people aware of the dangers of living, working, and socialising on campus, which can't be protected like an army base, and, like any place in society, can never be 100% safe. Your university careers should be the best years of your lives, but don't forget, there's no wall around the place keeping out anyone wanting to commit crime. Still, in general, the good news is that the crime you'll most likely come across is somebody copying your essay, which is illegal, but not physically dangerous. So that's the end of my talk. Thanks for listening. And don't forget, the police take crime very seriously, so please don't be afraid to contact us with any questions or concerns. The student police liaison officer is WPC Linda Smith, and she's based in the office next to the student union shop. Thanks again, and have an enjoyable and safe evening.